This video has been prepared by FSU College of Law students under the supervision of licensed attorneys. It is intended to provide legal education only. The students are not attorneys, and the information provided does not constitute legal advice. We hope this information is helpful. Hi, Samantha. It's great to meet you, and thank you for coming in today. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is a consultation, but everything you tell me will remain confidential. How can I help you? Well, I went on a date with a coworker, Brittany, and I didn't really feel anything romantic towards her. I didn't want to be mean, so I just stopped responding to her messages. She got really upset and left me horrible voicemails. What did she say in those voicemails? She is threatening to come to my house and hurt me if I didn't start answering her messages. I got really scared and blocked her number, hoping she would get the hint. There were also a whole bunch of text messages she sent, so I texted her to stop contacting me before I blocked her number. The text also contained some threats, but mainly just her fantasies of us being together in the future. Were there other things other than the voicemails and texts that made you scared? She started following me around the workplace. She memorized my work schedule and would be waiting around near the break room as well as the parking garage. She would never say anything to me, but it started getting worse. I went on a date with another coworker a few weeks later, and Brittany sat at the table across the restaurant and watched us the entire time. She pulled my date aside when I went to the bathroom and told her to stay away from me or else. I don't know what she meant by that, but my date was visibly shaken up when I got back. Thank you for opening up to me. About how long has all this been going on? Well, the voicemail and text started about a week after we went on the date, which was about five months ago. And then she started following me about a month later. How has all this affected you? It's been really hard. There is no safe place to turn because it's like she is always there. I've been so stressed out and it's making me mess up at work a lot. I don't want to get fired for doing my job poorly. You should not have to deal with that. Yeah, uh, it's a lot. I'm so over it. Well, Samantha, what you describe should make you eligible for an injunction for protection for stalking against Brittany in Florida. That would require that she has to stay away from you and can't contact you for however long the injunction specifies. Is there anything I have to do? I want to make sure that this goes smoothly. What you can do is save all the text messages and recordings of the voicemails Brittany left. You can also talk to your date and see if she would be willing to tell the court what happened on your date together. All this information will show the court that this is a pattern of behavior that is causing you emotional distress. Okay, I will get those things to you ASAP. Will you be the one who gets me this injunction? Well, having a lawyer would be beneficial since they can guide you through the process, which is a bit confusing. However, anyone can file a form in their local court. You can actually represent yourself. You would file the injunction petition with the court, and the sheriff would deliver the petition to Brittany, keeping you out of the picture. If the judge decides to schedule a hearing, you would only have to see Brittany at the hearing in front of the judge. And after the hearing, Brittany can never come near me again? Unfortunately, judges don't always grant injunctions. There may be many obstacles on the way, but don't lose hope. If the judge does grant the injunction petition, it is important to remember that the injunction is just a piece of paper. You should have it on you at all times, and if Brittany ever tries to contact you or come near you, the police can help if you call them. Okay, so good to know. Thank you so much. I feel better already. The process of filing an injunction may be confusing. We created a video dedicated to explaining the process and the different outcomes a judge may decide. A link to that video is included in the description box of this video.
The Public Interest Law Center provides limited legal services, but if you would like to have your legal issue considered, please email us at pilc at law.fsu.edu.